Uh, welcome to the BMW 1M. Sounds lovely. Now, it's the second time I'm driving this. Uh, first time was just earlier today here up at uh, Mosport, the driver development track. And I gotta say, I really like this car. Not bad. It is a phenomenal amount of car for what you get at, uh, you know, just shy of $60,000. Uh, but hey, if you can afford it, buy it. The only problem is, it's just too much fun to drive. Now, I don't know what the actual top speed of this thing is, doesn't really matter. It goes way faster than I can legally drive it at where I live. But what I can say is it will go to from zero to jail in about six seconds. Just waiting to go on the track here. Oh, God, I love that turbo. And every time it just kicks in, it's like. Whee! Oh, it's so much fun. It's actually too much fun, it ought to be illegal. And actually, if you drive it like this anywhere that other on a racetrack, it is illegal. Oh, yes. It's such a crisp handling car. And I've got all the, the sport mode on here. And, oh. Excuse me. Driving it earlier, I found that the stability control was really slowing me down because it really does have a, a tendency to kick in a little bit too early as far as my personal preferences. But and what I really love about this car is, in most aspects, it will outperform the BMW M3 which says really quite a lot for such a small vehicle and to have so much packed into it. The brakes are absolutely phenomenal. But going back to what I really love about the car, which is a rather long list, I gotta say, is that it actually has a true manual transmission and not these flappy paddle shift boxes that a lot of the M3s have nowadays. I had lunch quite a while ago because if I'd just eaten, I'd probably see it again shortly. And like all BMWs, the pedals are actually really, really nice. They've just, they've really figured out how well to place them, how big to make them, and it makes the heel toe shifting technique absolutely easy by compared to a lot of other vehicles. Now I'm gonna have to start taking it easy because I'm catching up to a few people here rather quickly. Are we gonna move over? Oh, that's very sweet. See ya. Oh, the turbo in this thing is absolutely just a kick. Oh, and a butt. I just looked at my rear view mirror because I guarantee you there's nothing back there that I need to worry about. Just this mini in front of me. And you know what, all things considered, this isn't significantly larger than a mini, but it's got a hell of a lot more oomph. And it is also a hell of a lot more expensive. Let's see if this fellow pulls over. Oh, looks like he's going to. Ah, very sweet.
and it's not a hard car to drive. It really is not a hard car to drive at all. Although if you drive it like this on a regular basis, odds are pretty good. Well, that you'll go to jail for it. At least on public roads anyway. I think it's a racetrack is exactly where this car was bred and what it was bred for. Now we're catching up to a Z4 now. sure if he knows that I'm behind him. Again, I don't know why I checked that mirror. There's nothing back there, and there wouldn't be. I'd certainly say that there's um, not a lot of street production cars that are as, oh, as fast as this. Or as agile. I'm sure there's a few, but it would have to be a remarkably small list. Sideways there. Now, because I've got all the controls turned off, you really do have to have fast hands, or this car could bite you quite significantly right in the rump. Now, I've got an old Euro M3 ahead of me now, and although his car's a really, really quite a nice car to drive, um, it is a fully prepped out as a race car. Uh, the fellow driving it has not got anything on this particular 1M, uh, and nor does the car in all fairness. Um, there's absolutely no way that as much as nice of a car that that is can keep up with this one. He was nice enough to let me buy, which is always great. Although, like any car I say, you have to have fast hands when you've got the traction control turned off, which is true. Um, a lot of cars are like that, especially powerful sports cars. And the session's over. I'll just do a bit of a cool down lap here because I've got the. Well, I've got the temperature notably high there. I mean, it's a pretty hot day, so, you know, you, you really do have to expect to get the engine pretty hot. The tires were just starting to fade off a little bit, where I noticed I was getting a little bit less traction on the corners, but I wasn't exactly being nice to them, so what do you expect? Just giving it a bit of a cool down here now. And I think that's probably it for the day. What a fun little car. Do you need one? No. Definitely want one, though. So for those of you who can write a check for this kind of money, you know, 60000 you know, plus a few trimmings here and there, maybe bring it up a little bit more, buy it. You'll love it. However, the real good place to drive this thing is always going to be on a racetrack. If you drive this thing the way it was built and bred to be uh, driven out on the public roads, you're going to have quite the collection of speeding tickets. Um, or if you drive it like I just did, you'll end up in jail. But that's what racetracks are for. And that's what this was for.